In the first part of this video, Phil's already gone through and shown you how to check and tune your bar correctly. What we're going to look at this time is what you can do with the kite to change the kite's performance. On the rear bridle line, which is a line which attaches directly to the wingtip of the kite, we offer three different knots for adjustment. The recommended one is the center knot. You can see this here, it's indicated with the arrow on a piece of mark cloth. This one's what you're going to use most of the time for nearly all levels of riding. Especially if your bar's tuned correctly, this is a knot which will put you directly in the, in the wind range we've recommended for the kite. So the top knot, which is the one which is going to be closest to the kite, is going to help you in the light wind. What you can do if you attach your line here, it'll make the kite sit a little bit further back in the window, uh, but it'll give a bit more power. The downsides are you're probably going to lose a little bit of upwind ability, and if your bar's not tuned correctly, you might, your kite might start to stall slightly in, in gusts and lulls but it will start to help and increase your wind range. Moving your line to the bottom knot, which is the one which is furthest away from the kite, is gonna do a few things. First of all, it's gonna depower the kite slightly, uh, which means you're gonna be able to ride it and come into the top end of the wind range, which we recommended for that kite. Um, it's also gonna make the kite steer slightly less because there's less demand on the rear lines. A lot of unhooked riders use this knot because it helps when they're doing unhook maneuvers and it, they don't have as much input over the kite and where it's turning. But it's got to be recommended that this knot is no substitute for using a smaller kite if you have one available for the wind range conditions. A smaller kite is definitely a better option. In light winds, if you've got your rear line connected to the top knot um, and your trim strap's fully out and your bar's fully sheeted in and you notice that you've still got some loose line on your rear lines, your rear lines aren't tight enough, one thing you could do is tie an extra knot in this upper section. The way you do it, you do an overhand knot. So you can keep it connected to the kite and you just do an over the top, pull it through. And what you want to try to do is do it above all the other knots, but below the doubled section and just pull it tight. There you go. When it's like this, you can connect your lines either to the top knot if the wind's light middle knot for normal settings or the bottom knot like we've explained earlier in this video. Okay this knot up here the one we've just tied it's got to be noted as well that this is not a place you attach your lines this is purely just for tuning. When you're flying your kite and over a period of time obviously things start to stretch a little bit and knots will start to settle. If you find your kite starting to stall and back stall in the window a little bit you can just start moving down the knots which you've already tied up there and that should solve your problems. So if you bar tune correctly They'll go to the middle knot, it's the one that's going to give you maximum performance, wind range and control of your kite. Hopefully with all the tips we've just given you, you're going to get even more performance out of your product and enjoy it. If you have any questions, please go to support at cabrinakites.com and we'll see you on the water.